Google's new AI studio is absolutely insane. You can use it to build high-level websites, web apps, and mobile apps. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a mobile app, in our case, a calculator app. I'm going to be showing you how to test it. I'm going to be showing you how to deploy it for free and convert it to an APK file, which you can install on your phone. Without much ado, subscribe to this channel and let's go on with the build. For this particular app, we are going to be using Google AI Studio. Simply go to aistudio.google.com. When you come to the left hand side, you see a number of elements, home, playground. Our interest is on build. When you click on build, it brings you to this area where you can write your prompt. You can either go to Gemini and create a prompt and bring it over here, or you can just type it in here. Now you can choose your model. You can use either the latest Gemini 3 Pro or you can use 2.5 Pro or 2.5 Flash. I'm just going to maintain the Gemini 3 Pro and I'm going to type in my prompt here. After typing in my prompt, I'm just going to click on Build. Google AI Studio will take some time to go through and make several iterations and you can click and see the code creation. I'll just leave it on Preview and when it's done, I'll get back to you. You can see this is a very clean calculator. This is the code. This is everything it wrote. I'll come back to preview. We can just test it by saying 90 times. All right, I did 90 times 90. I'll just clear that. I'll say 80 times five, and it gives me 400. So it gives me the ability to add other functionality like add history to display, add scientific functions improve AI input handling and add dark mode toggle, safe history and all of that. Now, we don't want to go into all of that. I will do another full video on how to use all of those. My interest is to show you now how to deploy this app. The first thing is that you can click and download your files. You'll find them in your computer and you can deploy it to your hosting of choice. You can also save to GitHub, push it to GitHub and then use your hosting of choice. And you can also deploy the app using Google Cloud. But what I want to do is for us to deploy this app using GitHub. So I'm going to click on save to give or GitHub. Then I'm going to create a new repository name. I'm just going to say my calculator, calculator, and then repository description. I'll say for calculator app. And it's going to be a private repository. I'm going to create GitHub repository. If you have not created a GitHub account, you're going to have to do that right now. It's asking me which changes. I'm just going to say stage and commit all changes. If I come back to my GitHub account, you can see this is the repository, my calculator. The next stage is for us to go to Netlify. Simply click on Netlify.com. We can just search for Netlify. Come there. And then you can see, you can use the free version of Netlify. It has the $0 per month, $9 per month, $20. I'm just going to click and create an account using the free plan. Now that I've created my account, it's asking me to deploy my first project. I'm going to click on GitHub and it's going to ask me for authorization. So I already have all of this. I'm just going to click on authorize. Which repositories do I want to give access to? I'll say select repositories. I will select my calculator, my calculator app, and then I'm going to install. And then it's asking me for my password. I'm going to put in my password here. Now I can see my calculator repository. So what I need to do is to click on it. And it's going to say, do I want to deploy my calculator to Netlify? I'm going to say yes. Now that is deployed, I have this web link, which if I click on it, you can see it, how it works. I'll click on 50 times 2 and it gives me 100. It works pretty well. Now, you could copy this link and share it to your friends and family. But we want to go to the next stage. I'll co copy this link address and I want to go to webintoapp.com. Webintoapp.com. And this is the application we are going to use to turn this file or this file using the link into an app. So I'm going to click on get started. I already have an account. If you don't have an account, then you'll be prompted to log in. I'll paste this link here. And then I'm going to just, you can use this icon. I give the app a name. I'll say calculatio. 
because I don't want the name which has already been used. I'll click on next. And the next thing we can do is just to go ahead. You're using the free version. So click on make an app. And so I need to log in right now. Now our app is in process. It may take a few minutes, but it's going to give us the APK to download. Now it's done. You can click here and download this and you click on free and download all files. So I have it here and we can open the folder to see what's in it. Here is the content of the folder. You see this particular folder within the folder. Then we have the license, readme and all of this. When we go into this Android folder, here is the folder that or the file that is of interest to us. This is the APK. You can either send it to yourself via email or via transfer or via WhatsApp. I'm just going to email it to myself and I'm going to show you on my phone. You can see this app works on both mobile and on desktop so that's it that's how to create a mobile app on google ai studio and deploy it for free if you got any value out of this video please subscribe to my channel because i'll be making more videos like this using different use cases also make sure to turn on the notification bell and like this video god bless you peace